For more insights on Pune's happenings, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Persistent hawker menace continues to plague Pune's MG Road despite the efforts of the Pune Cantonment Board's Nuisance Detection Squad. Routine inspections encounter challenges as hawkers play peekaboo, mysteriously vanishing during checks only to reappear once the officials leave. But where will the hawkers go? Do they not have hawkers' rights? And why does MG Road remain a hub for hawkers? Let's delve into the complexity of this ongoing issue. On Monday, MG Road was hawker-free as news spread out about a possible crackdown by the Pune Cantonment Board. However, an hour later, when PCB left, the streets and footpaths were once again approached by hawkers. This crackdown was initiated after the Pune Police Commissioner receiving a letter highlighting the illegal encroachments behind Hotel Aurora Towers. On December 1st, the Pune Camp Merchants Association also wrote a letter to the Cantonment Board and Police emphasizing the escalating problems faced by the local business community due to hawkers. We don't know who these people are, where they have come from, and everyone is enjoying at the expense of shop owners. It is not right because we are losing tremendous amount of business because footfalls are dropping drastically because there is no parking place. It is unsafe. The Hawkers are now coming on the roads. The roads are becoming narrow and narrower. As per the hawkers, MG Road has heavy footfall, making it an ideal spot for business. Moreover, this is the question of their livelihood. Therefore, a middle path has to be found. public <laughs> road. Decades ago, Fashion Street on MG Road was designated for hawkers, but a calculated relocation of the Pune Cantonment Board 26 years ago brought them to an open government plot. Fashion Street, intended for street vendors, now hosts around 600 stalls. However, the hawkers have spilled onto Kamale Road and nearby General Thimaya Road, turning the market into a chaotic maze. You can see the amount of litter that is caused by them. There is no free walkway. The footpaths are completely occupied by the hawkers. Also, beyond the footpath, the road is getting occupied by them. Where the two wheelers are supposed to be parked, the hawkers consume more than about seven to eight feet of the road, which makes sure that the two wheelers or four wheelers are parked ahead of their occupied areas. This causes a major traffic concern because the road becomes much smaller. Pehle hum log raste mein lagate the, par abhi cantonment jo police sab jo se aate the, to us sab se leke bhagna bahut takli ho rahi. Isliye hum log ne niche abhi shop bhi liya hai, abhi shop ke sab se hum log karte hain sab se liye. As per advocate M V Akolkar, founder president of the M G Road Hawker and Pathari Seva Sanstha. 447 vendors have been relocated to Fashion Street as per a court decree in 1997. But subsequently, new vendors who are not part of the organization also started selling their goods at the market. Some of these have even encroached upon the parking space of the plot. According to a report by the Indian Express, MG Road Hawker and Pathari Seva Sanstha members have called for a survey of the hawkers at the market to find an amicable solution. Hawkers are now spilling onto the road, causing traffic snarls. While the right to trade is fundamental for vendors and hawkers, it is not an unrestricted right and street trading cannot be permitted without limitations. Let's look at the rules. Hawkers' rights are recognized under Article 191 g of the Constitution but are balanced by commuters' fundamental right to move freely on roads, Article 191 d MG Road has been designated as no hawking zone by the Municipal Corporation. 
As per the Supreme Court, hawkers should not hawk within the periphery of 150 meters from any municipal or other market. Customers often prefer these hawkers for cheaper products and bargaining options, creating a challenge for authorized encroachments. Machine embroidery, machine. 450. Dukan mein jayenge, 700-800 rupees lete. Kitna sale hota hai dukan? Ho jata hai 20, 22, 25. Aur kitne customers aate hain? Aate hain, bahut customer aate hain. Kam se kam 100 ke aas pass aate hain customer. Din mein? Haan, din mein. Sabse zyada sale kab hota hai? Sanitizer Saturday. Has to be a hard, hard liner approach. If they come, pick them up and either levy heavy fines or just keep confess. ये तो सब ये माल किधर से आते वो भी नहीं मालूम ये माल चोरी का है क्या ये माल एक्चुअली खरीदा है क्या ये किसका माल है मालूम ही नहीं किसका एंड एवरीवन इज सफरिंग ऑन एफजी रोड एज ऑफ नाउ it is uncertain whether resolving the issue involves relocating hawkers or adopting a more inclusive approach to address the concerns of all stakeholders pedestrians in popular markets are the backbone of the local economic landscape Shrinking pedestrian spaces in markets like MG Road impact both consumers and the public. This issue of MG Road mirrors a broader encroachment problem in entire Pune and BCMC, a delicate balance between pedestrian rights, shopkeepers' concerns and hawkers' livelihoods is needed for a resolution.